Hey guys, it's Kugli again with another ROM review and this time I've got the Cyanogen Mod 14.1 unofficial version with Pixelify version 10 by Delasky 851 so let's get started. So guys, now there are a lot of uh, Cyanogen Mod 14.1 uh, ROMs unofficial on the XDA forums. Uh, most of them are basically the same thing. There aren't many differences between them. But this one uh, I really uh, liked because this one is by a developer who also makes the Pixelify package. So I wanted to just make a video of Pixelify package, but uh, then I thought what better ROM to try this on than the Cyanogen Modern Official by him. So here we are. Uh, now, disclaimer, I did try the Pixelify package with other 14.1 ROMs, like the, the AICP and the official, well, kind of official 14.1 uh, ROM for the OnePlus 3. Both of them works uh, splendidly. I didn't have any issues whatsoever. So uh, this is not a standalone uh, package for this particular ROM. It works with any 14.1 ROM. So yeah. Now let's get to the ROM now. First of all, this is the Cyanogen Mod basic ROM. So you get the basic stuff you get with any other Cyanogen Mod ROM. So this is 7.1. So you do have that. Uh, weirdly enough, the model number is Pixel. <laughs> and uh, that is something there. Uh, the Sanjima API level, the October patches are installed, so you do have that. Other than that, there is the Sanjima kernel version uh, build number and the SLN status is enforcing. So, this is uh, the stuff you need to get about. Now, another thing which I want to make clear is that the developer option does not have this, does not have root out of the box. I'm using root using the SuperSU script. I had to flash it manually and he claims that this is a no root version. Uh, you don't need to root, you don't need a root. And if you are someone who uses Android Pay or Pokemon Go, I guess, uh, you will be better off with the no root version than the rooted version. So there you have it. Now, most of the stuff is working and as with any other Cyanogen mod based ROM, there are instances where, um, well, stuff doesn't work like changing the cellular data option it doesn't work you have to restart uh, turn off the uh, the um, data and do a lot of stuff there doesn't really work uh, hotspot does work out with tethering uh, on the wi-fi and this one so that's really cool uh, display options in the display option live display is not working with automatic it does work with night mode and day mode uh, automatic just doesn't um, survive through a reboot and the color calibration doesn't really work uh, this doesn't really change anything so that's also there but these are stuff which you should be aware of if you are trying out a 14.1 uh, ROM so yeah now again there is the font size and display size selector so that is really cool to have notification lights can be customized so as with any other 14.1 ROM nothing special there and battery life now again battery life is basically what you would expect out of a 14.1 ROM it is pretty good compared to a 6.0 ROM but uh, the Oxygen OS ROM still has a better battery life but for the performance and for the uh, features it gives, uh, I, I really prefer the 7.1 ROMs over these Oxygen OS ones. Now there is the buttons uh, option here which you can, where you can enable the on-screen buttons and you can customize the power button and home button, uh, well power button, home button and recent button of actions and it does have the keyboard cursor control and playback control which I really appreciate. Gestures are working and I really do like the gesture option uh, where you can do most of the one plus three gesture options and it does work out really nicely now there is the uh, alert slider and alert slider is working i have used alert slider and this is one of my favorite features on the one plus three rom and uh, i want this to be working in any of my rom so yeah that is working though and then you have the status bar options where you can customize the clock ampm style battery battery status style now this doesn't really work uh, but the battery percentage does work so that is something which uh, is a move forward so that's really cool there are settings available for the weather options but i really can't find where the weather option is on the status bar i really couldn't get anything so that is it in the settings menu now let's get to the pixelify stuff now science mod 14 and official version comes with the trebuchet launcher the standard uh, uh the standard phone option the standard messaging now after you flash the pixelify's package it changes pretty much the uh, everything 
it changes the launcher it changes the sms application it changes the uh, camera application and it changes the um, well basically everything which has to do with the user experience it does change everything and one thing which i really appreciate is the this one which is the google assistant so i really appreciate the google assistant because that's really cool here's the top search result <laughs> and yeah google assistant is still not the best form of communicating with your device but it's i still like its quirkiness uh it's kind of like siri but not really siri and uh yeah it, it is there and google assistant is working flawlessly now google launcher is another one which i really appreciate you do have google launcher and if you have used the apk file and you have flashed it it is pretty much the same uh kind of like the uh, gel uh, launcher which is google experience launcher is really cool and i really appreciate that so yeah that is it about the google launcher now there is also the phone uh option and that does work out really nicely sms is also really cool now you do have to update everything uh after you flash everything so that is also there now the camera camera is the google pixel camera so uh it takes pretty good pictures these options the photosphere that causes a force close issue onto the uh, option so yeah that just closes the camera it doesn't really work but it's still cool to have uh, the lens blur now the lens blur does work out i have used lens blur and uh, here is a photo of the lens blur option so you can see that is blurred out uh, anyways if you try to refocus it it just closes the camera so that is also there uh, not the best experience you can get with the pix uh, with these options but still uh, I guess something is better than nothing. So yeah, that's really cool. Let me show you guys the boot animation, which is pretty amazing. So here is the boot animation for the Pixel uh, ROM, and actually this is the Pixel boot animation from the Google Pixel, and this is really really cool. I really appreciate this one. This minimalist thing, but really really beautiful. And there's a G. So here is the Antutu benchmark score which I received with this ROM. Um, certainly not the best performing ROM, but uh, well, this is a respectable score about 146,000. So it's nothing, not a slouch either. So I guess that much is it about the ROM now. Um, about the ROM, especially. It's nothing special. Uh, it is an unofficial version of the Science and More ROM. I personally didn't find it uh, better or worse than the other Science and More 14.1 ROMs available in the XDA forum. So maybe I'm not the judge of it. Uh, I can't judge that based on performance enough. But the Pixelify is a really really great thing. Uh, I really have used it on my AICP daily driver. It's really cool. I really uh, like the aesthetics of it. I really like the uh, Google Assistant Launcher. I have grown pretty fond of that. I really appreciate that. There are a lot of stuff here which is working. So yeah, I guess that's it about ROM. Hope you guys like the video. Please just subscribe and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.